Let me show you how to draw graceful, elegant arms as opposed to the stiff, blocky ones that are so common in figure drawing. If you're not attentive, you might just draw something very stiff and straight like this. Nature will, in fact, introduce curvatures to the limbs, but you have to be attentive to them. You know, the, the limbs themselves, the arms in particular, uh, will very often follow this sort of feeling. Uh, but if I then start to build my anatomical structure, I've got my deltoid, high point of the tricep, the tendon of the tricep down to the elbow here, and then there's going to be a little bit of fullness out on the edge of the forearm before I get to, say, the hand. On the inside of the forearm, we've got the supinators uh, kind of replicating the same sort of notion. And then on the inside, I might have a little bit of uh, shoulder creasing here. I've got the bicep, and as the bicep cuts in, this sort of construct assures that the axis of my arm just has some sort of gracefulness to it. Now let's transform this part of our quick sketch into something that's much more realistic using this principle. I'm going to build this contour to follow this uh, nice graceful curve that our model had. There's some, some skin folds happening in the, in the torso as we get down to, to, towards the hip. Okay, and then inside, I'm, notice I'm going to be following the same sort of curving that's happening on the outside of the limb. It's, uh, it's all subtle stuff, but it's very important when we're dealing with developing elegance and grace in our drawing. So as I'm here, then I can build in my, my shadow shapes. This whole part, maybe I'll sneak in a little bit of light shape here. This whole part is in shadow. Just fill it in. I'll open up a light shape in here a little bit. And now I can just start working into the modeling of my lights. I can anticipate that the traveling of the light down the arm is gonna be getting dark and darker and darker and darker and darker, darker, darker. Okay, maybe there's gonna be some, uh, some darkening down here at the elbow as that form turns under here. Now that we're into this finishing mode, I can apply this principle of having this contour that follows a relatively graceful curve uh, to the figure. So I want to be attentive to the fact that it's building on this sort of C-curve to the outside. Okay, so I don't want to be uh, stiffening the arm at all. I want to make sure that I'm uh, maintaining this sort of curvature happening to the uh, outside edge of the uh, arm. Even though I only see a little bit of this bottom part of the form, same principle applies. I need to understand that this curvature is continuing even though it's behind the part of the figure. Uh, and that means when I'm dealing with the top part of the forearm, then I have that same idea in mind. These two lines are uh, arcing together. Now, if I'm on the inside of the bicep here, uh, I'm going to be also attentive to the fact that that does the same thing. Logically speaking, all the form shadow will also be repeating this sort of idea. So as you're looking into your shadow shapes here, you'll also notice that they're going to be following this sort of notion here. These are not stiff, straight lines. There's not a shadow that comes in like this with an outside that is very stiff as such. Now remember, this principle applies throughout the entire figure. It applies to the legs, to the front side, to the back side. It applies to the entire torso. Uh, you'll see it even in the spiral of the neck. When you're attentive to it, you'll definitely see this happening all throughout your figure.